actually grabbed my other bag. And he goes, is this your bag? I'm still the only guy around here. So I'm like, okay, yeah, it's got to be mine. Are, are you working from a script? <laughs> I didn't actually say that, but I thought it. And he goes, well, I, I need to do a hand search. So when everything else comes out, you know, let's, let's go take a look at it. Like, okay, and Chad's like, what, what do you mean? I'm like, I just had some boots made. They put some rubber cement on it. There's got to be like a chemical sniffer in there or something. There's something the rubber cement. It's an accelerant. Yeah. And he, he opens the bag, zip, 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 zip. What does he see? You know, but black leather boots, yellow, bright shirt, <laughs> vest, black velvet tights, because I'm not going to check again. It's like, oh, someone's been to Renaissance Festival. Thank God he knows what Renaissance Festival is. <laughs> I'm going to explain everything that's in my bag. And he's digging around, and it turns out his cousin is on World Court. And I said, like, yeah, I'm on the two dudes. He's like, oh, I love you guys' show. But, yeah, we're starting two teams, yada, yada, yada. Do you have a poster tube in here or anything like that? You know, no, nothing like that. It's like, okay. And then he opens up this very small pocket in the front that I never use. And he pulls out a 12 inch length of PVC pipe. Oh, four inches in diameter, capped on both ends, spray painted gray, drilled on the end with a little rope sticking out the end. A few. <laughs> and the first thing that goes to my head is, Oh my god, that is so cool that security picked my bags to put something in to test oh, these guys. <laughs> Just a second thought. Security's never had my bags. <laughs> my third thought. Oh shit. <laughs> this is gonna sound pants. like a sitcom, I swear to god, this is what exactly they would say. But I've never seen that before. It's not mine. I have no idea how I've gotten my bags. <laughs> He goes, well, obviously it's a fake, but we have to classify it as a realistic fake, so you're gonna miss your flight. Yeah, I figured out was that. <laughs> was he calm at least, or? Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he, was, he was calm about it, but you know, they, they took me over, they got on to like TSA, they started running a background check at midnight, you know, on me, right there, to figure out who this guy is. And, and, and he's talking, he's like, like, you know, where's your bags been? I'm like, I, I've been in a trailer in the middle of a renaissance park, you know what I mean? Anyone could have walked in the door, yada, yada, yada. They photographed me, they photographed my bag, they photographed the device. Can you smile and get to hold it? I did lose the device. And so, so finally, thank God, but otherwise I'd never fly again. <laughs> so, so finally, you see, I'm, I'm talking to the guy, he's like, he's like hey, I'm, can I talk to someone? Can I, can I make a call? I realize you do what you have to do, but I want to talk to someone to see if I can get in and fess up on this. I realize it doesn't affect you, but I want to know who this is. So I call John. John, where are you at? Ten minutes from the site. Hey, John, you know anything about anyone playing a practical joke on me? No, because I'm here with an officer missing my flight. No, I mean, well, Brian, are you playing a trick on me right now? <laughs> no, John, I'm here with an officer missing my flight. Have you called Ron? <laughs> no, John, if you think Ron needs to be called, please do, but I think someone's gonna have to come back and pick me up. I will say, this gentleman did call me back in about five minutes. The first words out of his mouth, Brian, I am so sorry. I am such an asshole. 